Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the House of Absolu for Lancôme's third annual skin care symposium. My name is Annie Black and I'm Lancôme's International Scientific Director. I'm here today to share with you a new absolute innovation inspired by longevity science. After years of research, our experts have found a way to activate the longevity switch in your skin. Aging is a natural process and we can't stop it. We'll grow old and that's okay, but we can slow this process down. To do so, we have to understand how time affects your body. And this is the purpose of longevity science. So what if longevity science holds the secret to your skin's youth? Well, today let's dive together into this exciting new scientific territory. You will hear from leading scientists in longevity research. You'll also learn how roses have entered the genome era and how plants adaptation skills can be harnessed to active ingredients so you may discover and understand the science behind our products. Because at Lancôme, we believe in science. What matters to us is putting the best of scientific research at the service of your beauty and well-being, whatever the field of science. We transform the most advanced discoveries into groundbreaking innovations, assemble the most diverse scientific teams to foster creativity and innovation, and use the best ingredients to create the best performing products all for you. From these convictions, sometimes arise improbable scientific associations. Today, you will learn as much about the biology of the skin as that of the plant. And you will discover how Lancôme puts the fleeting beauty of roses at the service of the longevity of yours. Longevity has become the new wellness watchword, and it's much more than that. It's actually a booming scientific field. It is my privilege to introduce one of the leading scientists and most influential voices in the field of longevity science. From the Leonard Davis School of Gerontology at the University of Southern California, the director of the Longevity Institute, Dr. Walter Longo. Hello, nice to be with you. Longevity represents the program that ensures that an organism stays alive uh, for a very long time. And, and so, and this is really regulated by the, the aging process. So, so what is aging? Aging represents a set of changes and accumulation of damage that eventually leads to cellular dysfunction and the dysfunction of the entire organism. So we've been fascinated with the aging process and with immortality for thousands of years, but uh, recently, we understood that aging is also at the center of many, many different diseases, ranging from cancer to Alzheimer's disease to cardiovascular disease. So how is aging regulated? Well, we know that one of the most important factors against aging is the reduction of calories. And so if we reduce calories, then we know that all kinds of organisms can live longer or even much longer. So why is it that a person uh, lives to 80 years, but yet for the first 40 years does not develop any diseases. And so the, the first 40 years uh, of life is what I call youth span, is the, is the moment, the period of life where a human being stays not only healthy, but young. And how is that regulated? Well, the um, food and particularly this uh, uh, protein regulated and these sugar regulated genes are at the center of this youth span. Uh, but also, is it possible to make organisms younger? And we think that by fasting and refeeding all kinds of organisms, probably including human beings, the, the fasting can remove damaged components, damaged components of the cell and damaged cells. And then it turns to stem cells to begin the rebuilding process. So this, the system uh, shrinks, essentially, and in the shrinking process, it removes all kinds of damaged uh, components, and then it turns to stem cells to get the program to rebuild in a little bit the same way when we are first born and, and we need to generate uh, uh, the organism in the first place. So uh, these fasting refeeding cycles can bring back the clock, but also drugs, there are certain drugs that are being developed that target the genes that regulate aging, but also target the genes that regulate 
this rejuvenation, regeneration process. Thank you, Dr. Longo, for explaining the fundamentals of longevity science and sharing with us a new way of looking at aging. But I have a question for you. What is the difference between health span and lifespan? So lifespan represents the length of life. If someone lives until 90, the lifespan would be 90 years of age. Health span instead represents the part of, of that lifespan in which we stay healthy. So if someone lives to 90, but they're healthy until 60, the health span would be 60. In the last 100 years, we've done incredibly well in extending the lifespan of, of people, but we haven't done so well in extending the health span. And most people in their 60s, 70s, and 80s have multiple chronic diseases and are requiring multiple drugs. So now we need to get the health span to be much closer to the lifespan. Thank you again, Dr. Longo. Thank you, Dr. Block. It was a privilege to have you with us to kick off this symposium with this exciting introduction about longevity science. Aging is a part of life. And as we live longer, what's important is not how long we live, but how well we live. And this is in our hands. So what is the link between longevity science and my skin? How can I keep my skin looking younger for longer? To answer these questions, I am pleased to welcome a brilliant scientist and leading expert on skin longevity science and a very important molecule called AMPK. From L'Oreal Research and Innovation Advanced Research, Dr. Sybil Yeager. Hello, Dr. Yeager, and welcome. So how did you identify the role of AMPK, also known as the longevity switch in the skin? Thank you, Dr. Black. So AMPK stands for AMP activated protein kinase. And the role of a kinase is to instruct other molecules to do their job. And AMPK is a master regulator because it targets many molecules, which leads to the modulation of numerous biological pathways. And this is called AMPK signaling. Imagine a conductor who instructs all the musicians in an orchestra to play a highly complex symphony. AMPK assures that the targeted molecules and pathways play together in an orchestrated manner. AMPK was discovered decades ago and has notably been investigated in the context of metabolic health and healthy longevity. To describe the role of AMPK in a nutshell, you could say, that AMPK is a cellular energy guardian, and as such, it maintains cells and organisms in a healthy stage. However, it is known from tissues with a high energy demand, such as skeleton muscle, that AMPK signaling becomes less responsive with aging. As its function is beneficial for healthy aging, researchers have been looking into ways to reawaken AMPK activity. And it is now known that exercise and fasting periods can stimulate AMPK signaling, and compounds mimicking those processes emerged as AMPK activators. So what does all that mean for skin? Well, skin is not as energy intensive as skeleton muscle, but it also needs energy to renew itself constantly. And this renewal process slows down with aging. That's why more than 10 years ago, we have started to investigate the potential role of AMPK in skin. And I will guide you through our main discoveries. So AMPK is present and active in human skin. However, its activity declines with aging, similar to other tissues. When we mimic this decline in a simplified living human skin model, we identified signs of skin aging. The skin was thinner and it accumulated cells with characteristics of cellular aging called senescence. Moreover, the balance of proliferation, which determines the number of cells and differentiation, the development of specialized cells was disturbed. And this balance is essential for the skin renewal process. The disturbance of this balance also led to the weakening of the skin barrier in this model. And the skin barrier is crucial to protect us from all type of external assaults. And then we tested the opposite. We used reference compounds to activate AMPK in different skin models. First, in a cellular aging model. 
cells treated with a low level of oxidative stress, similar to what skin experiences by exposure to sunlight and pollution. And we found that activation of AMPK protected those cells. It preserved their proliferation potential and prevented cellular senescence. This shows that AMPK activity is crucial to protect skin against stress. Second in human skin explants, activation of AMPK stimulated the process that eliminates intracellular waste, called autophagy. Along with that, the level of damaged proteins was significantly reduced. And this shows that AMPK activity is important for the repair of intracellular damage in skin. And last but not least, activation of AMPK in skin cells increased the number of mitochondria, the powerhouses of the cell. And we confirmed that these cells produce more energy. And this shows that AMPK activity is essential to provide skin cells with energy for renewal and regeneration. So given all these results, we now know that AMPK plays a key role in skin by stimulating pathways that produce energy for skin renewal, skin regeneration, and the formation of a strong skin barrier, that fight stress molecules for the protection of the skin from external assaults and for its resilience, that eliminate intracellular waste, which helps the skin to repair and to replace harmful cellular components. And together, this illustrates that AMPK is not only the guardian of cellular energy, but also the guardian of a strong and healthy skin. Thank you, Dr. Yeager. What Dr. Yeager has just unveiled is a major breakthrough. Our research is the first to unearth AMPK's role in maintaining healthy and radiant skin. Now, Lancôme is putting longevity science at the service of your skin's youth. The longevity switch, or also called the mass regulator, can act on four youth functions. It maintains optimal cellular energy, allowing your skin to regenerate better. It activates cellular detoxification, removing harmful substances and recycling parts. And it triggers antioxidation and anti-inflammation processes to help your skin better protect itself. This is a result of 10 years of research, nine international collaborations with the world's foremost scientific institutions, six international publications and two patents. Lancôme has harnessed skin longevity science with a luxurious skincare formulation like no other. And the result is new Absolute the Serum. Absolute the Serum is a new way to visibly younger, firmer, and plumper skin. Cell renewal is accelerated. The skin is radiant with a golden glow. Drop by drop, this new formula delivers a long-lasting glow and powerful means to slow down the appearance of aging signs. Our new product both delays and reduces the signs of aging, infusing skin with millions of new cells for skin that's glowing with the light of extended visible youth. Absolute Serum has both a proactive action that delays the appearance of the signs of aging and a corrective action that reduces them. Instrumental and clinical evaluations of this formula have shown impressive results. On the proactive side, women see the difference. In the self-assessment study on 55 women, here is what they have to say. After one use, 91% see their skin tone more radiant and their skin seems plumper. After just one week, 95% feel that their skin is smoother and looks healthy, revitalized, and re-energized. After four weeks, 89% see their skin youth maintained. After eight weeks, 90% feel that the serum appears to help combat the effects of time on the skin. Its corrective action is also impressive. After one use, instrumental measurements show that hydration is increased by 50% and tonicity is improved by 47%. After eight weeks, 
Clinical evaluations show that cheeks are lifted by 23%. Once again, women see the difference. After eight weeks, 89% see their wrinkles reduced, and for 93% of them, fine lines appear reduced and their skin looks visibly younger. Absolute the Serum is a promise of sublime results for women who are expecting both high performance and a unique sensorial experience. Luxury skincare can deliver exceptional results and remain sustainable. It comes in a precious refillable pack made with recycled glass to reduce plastic waste. Absolute Serum is an emulsified gel with a very fine and opalescent texture, the freshness of which surprises from the very first contact on the skin. Silky and round to the touch, the formula is easily applied and spreads evenly like a second skin. It leaves a very thin and protective film on the surface of the skin. So let's discover the new Absolute Ritual for all women of all ages and all skin types. This sensory performance is due to a composition for which nothing has been left to chance. It is the work of a master craftsman. The combination of ingredients makes it possible to express the full potential of each raw material. Each is chosen to complement the other with precisely adjusted concentrations. The formulation base with its unique sensoriality is the result of 11 years of research and nine patents. It provides a unique setting for our active ingredients. So prepare to unlock the secrets to increased cell renewal. The key to unlock this secret is a unique flower, which gives an exceptional ingredient. Dr. Madaman, thank you for being with us today. But doctor, I'm intrigued and I have to admit, I wonder, is there a connection between beauty, longevity, and roses? Thank you, Dr. Black. Thank you very much. The rose is a marvelous plant, an emblematic plant species that has long history with man. Thanks to the beauty of its flowers, their diversity, fragrance, and color, it has won the heart of many human societies for thousands of years. The earliest records of rose domestication date back 5,000 years. That was in China. Later, the Greek and the Romans cherished this plant as ornament, but also for medicinal and cosmetic purposes. The creation of modern roses had its glory in the 19th century, with the crosses between Chinese roses and European roses. Breeders played a key role in this process, notably by obtaining the first modern roses, among which the so-called La France, obtained at Lyon in 1867. By the way, this rose is still alive today. Today, there are more than 35,000 rose cultivars. The rose is the ornamental plant with an exceptional diversity of its flower, thanks to their fragrances, color, but also for its cosmetic assets. Why this success in longevity and love of the rose? The secret lies in its exceptional genetic inheritance, which translates into a richness of traits, especially florals. 
deciphering the genetic and heritage of the rose, learning to read it and to understand its code is therefore of extreme importance. As in all species, the genetic code of the rose is carried by its genome. At the molecular level, the genome carries the genetic information composed of DNA, a succession of four nucleotides or molecules called nucleotides, A, C, G, and T, arranged in a double helix. The rose genome is composed of about 560 million nucleotides. We can find this in two, three, four, and up to, uh, to 10 copies, depending on the cultivar. The rose genome is thus highly complex, but with exceptional potential. Deciphering the rose genome will provide us with a manual to understand the history of the rose, but also its future to get the most out of this cherished plant. To achieve this objective, we have performed a meticulous work that made it possible to decipher the genome to identify the nature of its 37,000 genes and to translate them into an exceptional manual, easy to read and to understand. It is an incredible detailed manual containing blueprints for building all types of cells, tissues, and organs of the rose. It is also a history book. It contains the tales of the journey of the rose through time and during domestication by human. It provides information on the gene regulatory pathways to better understand at the molecular level their role. For example, to drive the production of important molecules such as those produced in the petals. And also to identify and understand the changes at the genome and the gene level which lead to modification in certain phenotypes and characters such as fragrance, color, resistance to pathogens. This helps us also to, to develop natural approaches to minimize the impact of such changes. Therefore, the severing the genome of the rose will help understand its biology, its longevity, its diversity, and also its potential for the future in several fields such as in cosmetics. But also to understand and foresee how roses cope and adapt to their fluctuating environment, especially in this is important in the context of climate change, which will also help maximize its potential while reducing wasted water and inputs such as pesticides and thus preserving and respecting nature. Thank you very much, Dr. Benderman. The rose is definitely a model of longevity and an open book. Deciphering the rose genome is a starting point that opens new and exciting new possibilities. Our next speaker is a leading expert on pharmacognosy, which is a rare scientific expertise on active molecules from a biological or mineral origin and he's also an incredibly creative phytochemist. From the Microbial Ecology Laboratory at Claude Bernard University in Lyon, the director of the Centre d'études des substances naturelles, Professor Gilles Comte. <music> Professor Comte, welcome and thank you for being with us today. Plants grow all over the world and in very different environments. But how do they adapt to this environment? And how can we harness the power of plants to create original active ingredients? Thank you, Dr. Black. From steep alpine forests to burning deserts, from sunny coasts to green plains, and in the depths of lakes, rivers, and even oceans, plants are present everywhere on our planet where they have demonstrated for millions of years fantastic capacity to adapt and colonize all ecosystems, despite one major constraint. They are fixed and rooted in their environment. Likewise, over millions of years, plants have also been able to cope with changing climatic conditions, adapting to ice ages, as well as to the hot and humid climates of the Jurassic era. This fixed life has therefore led them to develop, thanks to evolution, original ways to interact 
with their environment, whether it is favorable or not. In addition, plants also need to be able to cope with conditions in which they live day by day. One of the main ways in which plants interact with their environment is by using a metabolism that is much more diversified and richer than that of animals. In other words, richer in number, but also in variety of different molecules. This is secondary metabolism or specialized metabolism. Plants have therefore developed a wide range of molecules whose role is to enable them to interact with their environment and with other organisms, and also to react to given situations, but by appropriate means. For example, among these thousands of metabolites, we can find pigments or aromas that will attract pollinating insects to favor reproduction, but also birds that will transport the seeds to colonize new areas. Repellents that will help the plant to fight against various attacks because of their unpleasant taste and sometimes even their toxicity. Some molecules will have more biochemical activities, such as metabolites that can help the plant to fight against fungi, bacteria, or viruses, just as effectively as the product we can find in our garden centers. Free radical scavengers to limit the cellular damage linked to oxidation, and real UV filters that are particularly useful during periods of strong sunlight, for example. We also find molecules that allow plants to trigger the regeneration of damaged tissues when it is still possible, of course. It is thus based on knowledge of plants, how they function and how they interact with their environment, that scientists find ideas, means and solutions to discover active principles that can be developed for effectiveness and well-being. To do this, researchers study plants in their environment to understand the interaction they face. Then, they extract and purify the active ingredients. It is thanks to these methodologies that we now have aloe vera extract to moisturize the skin, salicylic acid from the willow tree to benefit from its antiseptic power, and essential oils, which, in addition to their characteristic smell, are endowed with numerous properties that make them powerful cosmetic actives. For some years now, we also begin to understand how the environment can, in turn, influence the functioning of plants and, consequently, the molecule they produce. This is the case, for example, with the influence of climatic conditions, soil composition, and other organisms, like animals, other plants, and even microbes. These environmental influences will significantly change the way plants function and one of the main outcomes is the quantity and the quality of specialized metabolites. Remember, these specialized metabolites, that are the substances generated by the plants to interact with their environment and to adapt to its constraints. This could be described as the famous terroir effect that you are familiar with in the case of vineyards or other plant crops. Indeed, as an example, a Pinot Noir grape variety grown in the Loire Valley will not be the same as the one grown in the Rhone Valley. So, by studying this phenomena, scientists will be able to understand and even to influence the expression by plants of these compounds, which are so important to us as a source of active principles. We will then be able to discover from the same plant different ingredients depending on growing conditions, part of the plant, and even stage of maturity. Thus, the extract of rose petal will not have the same composition as the extract of rosebuds, allowing then the development of active ingredients for various applications. These are few examples of this inestimable potential, and it is therefore in the heart of this huge reservoir of active ingredients that scientists will look for the molecule of tomorrow. From the knowledge and observation of plants comes innovation. Thank you, Professor Comte.
Professor Bendaman and Professor Kuhn have shown us the extraordinary potential of the plant world. In nature, the first method of communication between living beings are molecules. Plants have therefore developed a wide variety of molecules whose role is to allow them to interact with their environment, but also with other organisms, but also to react to any given situation. These adaptive capabilities of the plant world are at the origin of this invaluable potential for cosmetics. It is the potential of roses that we put at the service of your beauty. There are over 35,000 varieties of roses in the world, and each one is unique. Among all of these roses, there is one that is very special to us. It's the new Lancôme rose. The first rose was created for Lancôme in 1973 and is known for its exceptional color and long-lasting blooms. It was the first rose used in biotechnology for skincare. 37 years later, we have selected a new Lancôme rose, the Absolute Perpetual Rose. Breeding a new rose is a unique mix of art and science, requiring patience and dedication as everything is done naturally by hand. Each new rose begins as a cross between two existing roses, which we call the parents. Having selected suitable parents, we collect the pollen from one parent and place it onto the stigma of the other. This is called cross-pollination and would be naturally carried out by bees. This is all done by hand, using a small knife to remove the pollen from the first parent and a paintbrush to apply it to the other parent. Cross-pollination will eventually form a rose hip containing 10 or more child seeds, a mix of both parents. Like human children, each of those child seeds will be a completely unique mix of the parent's characteristics. After 10 years of rigorous selection processes, and a journey strewn with thorns and floor innovations, the absolute perpetual rose was born. This rose is a phenomenon of nature with more than 80 white scented petals. The perpetual rose holds unparalleled regenerative capabilities as if powered by the secret of youth. It has an exceptional vitality and blossoms almost continuously throughout the year. This rose grows on a unique terroir. The land of the Plateau Valençol benefits from a privileged location which gives exceptional quality to its roses. It is located between the Durance and Asse rivers near the Gorge du Verdon and its lakes in Provence. The quality of this terroir with half Mediterranean, half Alpine climate contributes to the uniqueness of the absolute perpetual rose. This exceptional terroir also benefits from the know-how of rose farmers. Almost 5,000 rose bushes are growing on three acres on the Plateau de Valençol. The absolute perpetual roses are grown organically and they are hand harvested every morning when the flower starts to bloom, still carrying the freshness of the night. Immediately after harvest, the roses are swiftly brought to the nearby factory for extraction. The secret is to waste as little time as possible between the harvest in the fields and the extraction process. Now, let's meet Emmanuel Ravel, a third-generation farmer who oversees the Lancôme rose fields all year long. Cultiver bio, c'est accepter des choses à la nature. On utilise uniquement des engrais organiques, en tous les cas de matières actives naturelles. Il faut être passionné, et puis il faut s'accorder du temps. Ce qui m'a plu dans ce travail avec Lancôme, c'était faire du bio, mais en sachant que vous aussi, ça vous intéresse. Vous allez aussi l'extraire d'une manière bio. Ça va être utilisé aussi dans les crèmes d'une certaine manière. C'est du début à la fin que tout va être traité dans cette logique-là. Je m'appelle Emmanuel Ravel et ça fait 23 ans que je cultive des roses. The vital power of the absolute perpetual rose is captured by a patented green technology process that uses the properties of supercritical CO2 while producing minimal waste. The roses are extracted without altering the most delicate molecules to remain true to the original composition of the flower while capturing with great purity millions of rose molecules. 
The result is a proprietary natural extract with a unique molecular signature. And we've identified 45 different molecular components that are specific to the absolute perpetual rose. These molecular fractions have shown the most potential for promoting youthful skin qualities. The absolute perpetual rose extract can reactivate the levels of AMPK in human epidermal cells in vitro by 70%. With aging, the skin's regeneration potential decreases. The absolute perpetual rose extract maintains the regeneration of epidermal cells, which means that cells stay healthier for longer. Absolute serum is also formulated with rosewood extract, an ingredient that was previously destroyed after harvest of the roses and is now upcycled and used as a powerful antioxidant to fight free radicals and contribute to your skin's protection. These two powerful ingredients are combined with proxylene, an anti-aging gold standard to deliver both proactive and corrective ways to fight the signs of aging. With Absolute, Lancôme is paving the way to the future of skincare with longevity science. Absolute is the epitome of Lancôme philosophy to bring you the best science with the best ingredients. It's made in France. It's made transparently, responsibly, innovatively, and sustainably, but with one goal in mind, to put the fleeting beauty of roses at the service of the longevity of yours. Thank you for your attention. But before closing this session, I would like to warmly thank our speakers for sharing their knowledge and expertise. And now I will ask Dr. Sybil Yeager to join me to answer your questions. So don't hesitate, send your questions in the comments section below your screen.